This next comic coming up to the stage, very funny guy. You can see him on uh, YouTube. He's got a great show called The Jason Ellis Show. Guys, nice round of applause for Jason Ellis! Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a lot of people. Yeah, I gotta blame Brian Ziegler for that. He's very popular. I am not. That's why he said he's from YouTube. I'm not from YouTube. One time I didn't get knocked out on YouTube and made it on uh, Worldstar, so that was pretty cool. It wasn't a street fight, it was a legal fight. I fought a... Uh, anybody ever heard of Shane Carwin? Yeah, UFC fighter. He had like... Uh, such a big hand that he had uh, custom gloves made for his hands. His fingers look like porn penises. <laughs> but anyway, I fought him once in front of a bunch of people. I thought it'd be funny. I was like really stupid. But I was like, you'll have one arm and I'll have two. So it'll be pretty fair. <laughs> and a few people that can fight were like, dude, you don't understand, Shane Carwin's a very, very serious man. And I was like, yeah, but he's my friend. We were just joking at Pink Taco about his penis fingers, and we were laughing, and everybody had a great time. And I was like, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow night, and we'll have some fun. And then as soon as I get in the ring, what I don't know, he tells me like three years later, I don't know this, but when he got in the, when I got in the ring, his face was red, his whole body was kind of red, and he's 300 pounds. And he didn't have to cut weight for this fight, so he was just a giant dude. And I got in there, I was just hanging out with some girls, and like, uh, this is gonna be the greatest show ever. I really hope I don't get too hurt performing for everybody in a comedy boxing fight. So as soon as I get in, I went under the ropes and I popped up and I was like, hey, Shane! And he wasn't, he didn't, he acted like he didn't know me. <laughs> and he just eyeballed me wherever I went in the ring. And I remember looking at my corner and I was like, this, he seems pretty serious. <laughs> and they were all scared. And I'm like, he's not even going to fight you. Like, huh? And they're like, man, you're fucked. Good luck. <laughs> so then, yeah, he knocked me out. But he told me that his coach said, you know why Jason invited you here, right? And he's like, yeah, he's my friend. We're going to put on a show. He's like, no, dude, he's going to put you on YouTube. He's going to knock you out because you've got one arm. This kid can fight. He's gonna knock you out and he's gonna have a highlight reel on YouTube. He's doing this to make you look stupid, dude. He told a 300 pound man that could have been on some enhancements <laughs> to kill me. Not very good. I mean, I'm pretty good, but not very good. I just turned 50 and I'm gay, so. Yeah. Wow. Is that for gay or 50? I don't know. Um, yeah, it was a bit of an accident. Not 50. <laughs> but they both are not a choice, make no mistake. Because as lit as it, as it is to be, uh, you know, gay. Well, gay's cool, because you've got gay friends and you're gay. They're like, yay. But if you're, if you're, well, they don't know what they can be like, yeah, as well. <laughs> But, uh, they, I'm just, uh, a bit, I'm a straight guy who's gay. So, it's like, what up, brother, I suck the dick! And they're like, nah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to high-five you for that, man. It's kind of off-putting. And I'm like, come on, man, like, you talk about girls sucking it. <laughs> so it's not as popular as I thought, I thought. <laughs> everybody I'm by and they're like it's not it wasn't a good idea I mean it's working out right now but you know, as soon as I walk off it's, it's not like all the chicks dig it you know less chicks dig that creepy chicks dig that which I'm okay I know hey woo hit me up later on <laughs> I like her uh, yeah, so I feel like the gay was like maybe some gay rain hit me one day because I had hair and I was straight <laughs> And then I don't know which the, which rain was the gay rain But obviously one time I got hit Right in the head with gay rain and it made my straight hair come out And I became gay 10% gay at first <laughs> so
so sad. It's true though. And my wife says I'm about 52% now. <laughs> As you can see, I, when I get into stuff, I get into it, you know? So when I got, I got a little gay, this is uncomfortable because I can tell you, I mean, this is like full on gay talk, but I'll go so hard in the gay paint, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm still not that gay, I can't look at a guy and do that, it's weird. I do have sex with women though, it's true, boned them, yep, hell yeah. Right in the vagina, I know where it is. <laughs> so yeah, uh, one time I uh, went on a date with China, do you know who China is? She was the world wrestling champion of the world. Very powerful. Very big, I thought maybe she could defeat me, turns out, no. <laughs> Once I got her right in the vagina, she was mine. <laughs> it's the secret to winning that match. Uh, but yeah, I, I took her home. Uh, she, first we went to a bowling alley and she ordered a tray of, uh, of lemon drops. And I, I, I was trying not to drink. I've had a struggle with that my whole life. And she drank them all. And I was like, well, that's really gnarly. Let's go back to your house, you know? So we go back to her house, and I don't want to get into that bit, it's gross, but I can tell you, on the street, guys, right in the puss, you guys. Right in the fucking, right in there. So, I go to, it's cool, whatever, I go to sleep, and then all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, she's up trying to find the toilet. It's her house. Uh, and then there's an assistant that comes in, but I don't even know who the is. I came in late, you know what I mean? I didn't know you had an assistant, I thought you lived here by yourself. Who is this strange lady? And uh, she's like, no, the you know, toilet's over here. And, you know, and then finally she finds it, and then she comes back in looking for some extra, and I'm, I'm pretty tapped. It's been, it's been emotional. <laughs> so she uh, 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 starts to try to, she's singing the Britney Spears song. She's like, give me, give me more, give me more. And like grab it on my back, you know when you just do the dead thing, like, I'm, man, so, I was drinking all night, obviously, I wasn't, but I was like, fuck, I'm dead, you know? So, I got out of that, and then, as soon as the sun comes up, this assistant, this is where I figure out it's an assistant, because she comes flying in with a phone, and she goes, you know, you're on right now, so-and-so news, blah, 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 and I'm like, oh, shit, and she just jumps out naked, She's still, she's pretty jacked, man, I'm into her, it's weird. <laughs> she jumps out, she's doing the phone thing, and I'm like, oh, right, this is my time to cut out. So I start putting my pants on, and she starts doing the phone call thing where she's like, oh, yes, no, no, I love slamming people, it's great. No, I'm always slamming people. And I'm putting my pants on, I'm like, no, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Then all of a sudden she, like, turns from China to wrestle into the great fucking wall of China, and I can't get past her. And then I'm like, assistant, fucking help me. And then I finally get out of there and run out of the apartment to the elevator and I'm hitting the door. She came out on the phone naked. Like, no, not yet. I'm slamming people. I love it. She died. I've only started comedy, so I've got to get a better segue for that one. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, I was gonna talk about having sex with beasts, but I feel like it's gonna get weird. Cause you know, I've always wanted to, like, lichens, I would like to sleep with a lichen. And that Kate, Kate Beckinsale, look, you can laugh, Kate Beckinsale fucking dated a lichen. They were like, they died for each other. They were in fucking love. So she sucked the dog's dick for sure. <laughs> but, um, when I was, obviously, you know, because I'm tweet, uh, molested and shit, woo, yeah. Uh, my mum had a naturopath, I feel like that's a yoga instructor now, but uh, she recommended that I go to this uh, weekend rehabilitation thing when I was like 16. And I was really like an alcoholic uh, and you know, depressed and not over the things that had happened to me as a child. So I go to this thing and it's all old people. I'm 50, I can say that now. You're all fucking anyone old, you're wrinkly, fuck you, that's what happens. <laughs> So I go to this camp and it's all old people and they're all having mental, they had a mental breakdown. I'm 16, I'm just like depressed because somebody made me do stuff to them. Anyway, so gross, not funny either. I gotta cut that out. Uh, 
But so I go to this camp, and then one of the first things we do is they go to a pool, and I'm like, oh, cool, we're going to get to swim around a pool with old people. And then they go, take all your clothes off, and I'm like, wow, naked. Most of the people are pretty old, so I'm like, it's barely, it's like you're not even there. But there's a couple of young people. So I get in the pool, and they go, find a partner. I don't want to find a partner, because... I'm naked, I'm 16, you're all fucking gross, like this is weird. So I don't pick one and then of course they go, I, there's no, everyone's got one and then I turn around and there's my guy over here. And he's like 80. I don't even know what he, I mean he's depressed because he's 80, like well, there's no fixing that. <laughs> Staying that way. So anyway, they go, right, we're gonna cradle each other in the fucking pool. So I get cradled by this guy, right? Naked. I can feel his weird shit touching me. I'm like, this is so humiliating. And they go, all right, your turn. So now, I thought that'd be easier, but it was way worse. Because he was like, like a dead walrus. It was just like I was waiting. To, his skin was like flaking off with the water, like the water was eating him. He was dying right there. So then, the naturopath, the yoga lady, comes up to me and she's like, you having fun? I'm like, yeah, like lying out of my ass. And she starts talking to me in the pool, we're naked, and she's got a super hairy p vagina. It's like late 80s. And it's like a cat of nine tails, and she comes up super close to me, and this thing is like, it's got tentacles, and it's like wrapping around my balls. It's like caressing my knob and trying to go in my meters. Do you know what a meters is? It's your dick hole. I could be wrong. I think it is. Did you also know a turtle shits his dick out? I said that with an accent. Turtle shits its dick out. True story. Google. Peas, poos, and the penis. Same hole. So anyway, this girl does the thing on my penis and then we drink that night. So that's a real good cure for me. So we all drink. And then uh, she goes, don't worry about your mum coming to pick you up, I'll drive you home. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I still didn't know she was gonna molest me. Oh. It's not, in different states, I guess it's okay. But six, I was a, I'm dumb now. When I was 16, holy shit, nothing was happening in here. <laughs> oh, tits, fucking jumps, fire. Like, that's about it. So she pulled the car over and, you know, heard she did that, gross. And then, uh, yeah, that's how I didn't get, like, I went to a place to get cured and they got me drunk and molested me again. <laughs> hey, right? What a crock, what a bunch of shit. <laughs> anyway, you know, I, I don't drink anymore, but I still suck mad dicks. <laughs> I'm half all right, yeah? Wow. All right, you guys are uh, really awesome. I really appreciate you guys laughing at me. It means a lot. Uh, now the man of the hour, uh, my dear friend, my number one friend in comedy who got me up here. I really appreciate him. You've seen him on his amazing podcast. You've seen me on there. I'm, I exist thanks to him having me. He's a fucking legend. A honeydew champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ryan Sickler, everybody.